I just came out of Walmart a little while ago because I had to get my little girl's ice cream, her favorite ice cream that she likes, because none of the other small stores in the area where I live have that ice cream. So I had to go to Walmart. I hated to do it because I knew it was going to be like, you know, busy in there and stuff. So I went in there and I was brave, but I almost got hit by a Walmart grocery cart three different times by three different shoppers. And I know they weren't trying to hit me with their carts. It's just that they were, you know, there was an aisle there and they're coming around the aisle. They couldn't see me. And, um, you know, here comes their grocery cart and they almost hit me with it. So I was like, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. You know, so it's like that. And it got me thinking. Why are there such thing as grocery carts? I mean, we really don't need them, right? They didn't always exist. So I looked it up and it says that the grocery carts were introduced. A man invented them in like 1936 and then they were introduced in 1937. Okay. So that allows people to haul more groceries out of the store and it encouraged you to buy more groceries. Okay. So of course that's why they would do it. But then also... Um, it encourages obesity. So <laughs> you have more people buying more food and eating, consuming more food and spending more money at the grocery stores. So that also causes grocery prices to go up and blah, 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 you know. So anyway... You don't necessarily have to go in there and fill up your grocery cart, do you? But I guess, it, you know, they first used the baskets and then anyway, that's all for now. Bye.